domain in this narrow range. Okay, switching charts now, taking a look at the euro, uh, the euro dollar here. Um, on, the, on the daily coming into today, uh, we do not have anything major to talk about here, but we, again, for the week, we are looking at, uh, at a certain potential for breakout here. Or actually more so to, to the point breakdown and, I, and I'm going to get to that uh, here first of all let's take a look at what what we see as far as breakout and breakdown <clears throat> excuse me uh, the breakout and breakdown on this particular one we're going to be looking at significant uh, prices at 136.91 and 131.15 so we buy at 136.91, we sell at 131.15. Initial profit targets will look something like this. On the 136.91, uh, we're going to look at initial profit target to be probably around, I want to say, uh, 139.20. Uh, if we get triggered on the 131.15, then we're going to look at an initial target of 130.43. So as you can see here, the potential for the breakdown versus the breakout, you would you would actually look to see that it, it's it, it'll be more plausible that we break down versus breaking out and that's because we're trading closer to the breakout point than we are the the, the, the breakout point so breakdown right now is the higher probability than break out now there are a couple of reasons for that let's jump right into the chart patterns and, and, and take a look here all right looking here on the chart patterns we had a, a big white candle occurrence and this is generally considered bullish as prices close significantly higher than they open. If the candle appears when prices are low, it may be the first sign of a bottom. If it occurs when prices are rebounding off of a support area or a moving average or a trend line or a retracement level, the long white candle adds credibility to the support. Similarly, if the candle appears during a breakout above a resistance area, the long white candle adds credibility to the breakout. And during the past 10 bars, there have been three white or up candles and seven black down candles for a net of four black down candles. During the past 50 bars, there have been 20 white up candles and 30 black down candles for a net of 10 black down candles. The three white candles occurred in the last three sessions. Although these candles were not big enough to create three white soldiers, the steady upward pattern is bullish so when we say bullish we're talking about a retracement as you can see we are in a significant downtrend so we're just looking at short term right now off the dailies taking a look at the pulse scan swing vix currently the market pulse is negative since it is trading below its signal line the pulse scan crossed the swing vix as of friday the trend channel is up so we have a positive swing vix this means that positive momentum is entering the market so we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. The swing VIX is not currently in a topping uh, pattern above 39 or a bottoming pattern below negative 39 uh, range. However, the swing VIX just crossed above negative 29 from a bottoming formation. This is a bullish sign. A buy or sell signal is generated when the swing VIX moves out of an overbought or oversold area. And the last signal was an oversold buy. 57 uh, periods ago so we've been pretty much trading um, sideways since then uh, the swing VIX does not currently show any failure swings and the swing VIX and price are not diverging uh, since the swing VIX crossed its moving average the euro's price has been unchanged and has ranged from a high of 133.41 to a low of 132.22 as far as overall trend, we remain very bearish and pointing downward. And we're trading significantly below the long-term, intermediate, and short-term moving averages. Uh, volatility 
uh, is that the euro closed above the lower volatility band by 23.9%, leaving 12.8% wider than normal range. So we are neutral on the volatility readings. So again, uh, nothing uh, to really write home about. We're going to have to wait and see how today's trading activity develops before we get a better signal going forward for tomorrow. Uh, let's take a look at the at the weekly chart and see if we can get any uh, any signs of life, if you will. Uh, I doubt it, but let's just do it anyway. See what happens. As you can see here, it is almost looking kind of like the daily chart, but you can see how the swing VIX is. Uh, the channel is pointing upward, so that's showing that we're trying to build some support around these levels. Let's, uh, let's blow this up a little bit. Okay, taking a look at the weekly chart. Um, during the past 10 bars, there have been four white up candles and six black down candles for a net of two down candles. During the past 50 bars, there have been 23 white up candles and 27 down candles for a net of four black candles. Three black candles occurred in the last three weeks. Although these candles were not big enough to create three black crows, the steady downward pattern is bearish. Currently the market pulse in the weekly chart is negative since it's trading below its signal line and the post scan crossed above the swing VIX uh, as of Friday. And the trend channel is up. So we have a positive swing VIX now, and that means that positive momentum is entering the market. So we expect sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days. Uh, or I should say three to five weeks, because we're looking at the weekly chart. A, um, the last signal that we got was an oversold buy that was six weeks ago. And that, um, that did not materialize too much. Uh, we did get filled up in here. Actually, uh, let's see. No, we actually we bounced from here, so we probably I say as of the week of February the 26th, that's when we, you saw we had three weeks of upward momentum, and we topped out at 138.19. So from basically 136.86, we went to 138.19. Not a whole lot of build up, and then we've been down ever since then. So. All we can do is track it. We can't really chase it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the swing VIX does not currently show any failure swings, and the security price has set a new 14-week low, while the swing VIX has not. This is a bullish divergence. All right, so we'll have to watch for that breakdown or possible breakout. Since the swing VIX crossed its moving average, the euro prices have been unchanged and it's ranged from a high of 134.14 to a low of 131.15. The trend is down right now and we, we, we are very bearish. And the reason for that is we're trading below the long term intermediate and short term moving averages. Um, if we can close above 137.68 this week, which is saying quite a lot, almost a 500 pip move, then we can say that uh, the low has been put in uh, for now and we can expect to move higher as we move you know, more into the summer. Uh, but I, I don't think that's likely. I think we're going to continue to break down. If we do get some a retracement, I don't think we're going to close above 137.68. We'll have to look and see. And really that target of 137.68, as of uh, Friday's close is going to be more so not a five day outlook but a five week outlook so we got five weeks to do it that's uh, about a hundred pips a week so we'll see volatility says that the euro closed above the lower volatility band by 18.1 percent leaving 10.78 percent wider than normal range so uh, now the ranges are getting wider, we'll have to see what happens. So that's all we have on the euro. Uh, 